What was going on inside the White House made the stuff in the streets look like a party. Reed's people were in there, not Black Arrow. And they were clearing it room by room. Reed had disabled most of the security from Third Echelon. The EMP had taken care of the rest. All the President had left was Secret Service. And they weren't enough. Sam was in, trying to make his way through the White House while the people he'd trained tried to kill him. As for Grimm, well, she had the hard part. Have an opportunity here. Reed stashed Vice President Samson in the ballroom with personal bodyguards. He's waiting to be introduced as the next president. That's on my route to the West Wing. Pay him a visit. Then meet me in the press room. We'll figure out how to tackle Reed there. opportunity here. Reed stashed Vice President Samson in the ballroom with personal bodyguards. He's waiting to be introduced as the next president. That's on my route to the West Wing. Then meet me in the press room. We'll figure out how to tackle Reed there. Sam, 
We have an opportunity here. Reed stashed Vice President Samson in the ballroom with personal bodyguards. He's waiting to be introduced as the next president. It's on my route to the West Wing. Pay him a visit. Then meet me in the press room. We'll figure out how to tackle Reed there. when I put my boot up your ass. Hold position. Let the contact make the next move. Contact! Contact! Almost bit off more than I could chew. If I catch a stray bullet. Mr. Vice President, I can assure you everything is under control. You're perfectly safe here. Don't piss in my mouth and call it lemonade. Reed is making this up as he goes along, isn't he? Sir, Director Reed just called. He's almost secured the President. Everything's going according to schedule. Oh, really? And where is Kill Sam Fisher? On the schedule! Everyone stay focused and keep an I eye on the court. I didn't hear that grinning prick Reed talk about doing that. Sir? Oh! Oh! I sprayed pig shit off my shoes. It was smarter than you, Fisher. You didn't run. Smart. Ah, you don't get it, do you? You can't touch me. I got protection. I'm Teflon. So whatever you think you're gonna do to me, Mr. Has been. Mr. Rogue Agent. Mr. Washed Up Spy. We can forget about it right now, because I'm bulletproof. Goddamn bulletproof, you hear? Oh, really? <laughs> You know, you oh, need to work on that whole son of a perfect. Bitch! Oh, oh, God, it hurts! Oh. Vice President, that's priority! 
Stop one hostile! I'll take him down! Here. Engage the guard! We're going in! Subject located! It's safe! Let's move! Cannot get a visual on the hostile! Grenade! Get down! By the time Grimm got a hold of Sam, Reed's men were kicking in the Oval Office door. She was there, and she could see that the President's protective detail was going down. The plan was for Sam to meet with Grimm in the press room where they'd figure out what the hell to do next. Of course, Grimm already had a plan, one she hadn't bothered to tell Sam about. But that shouldn't have surprised him. Some things, and some people, just don't change. Go! 
contact! Target in sight! Time, Sam. Where are you? I'm close. Get closer. Reed's knocking on the door to the Oval Office right now. Whatever it's worth, Sam, I am so sorry for everything. I thought we were in a hurry. Right. We need to get you close to Reed, and we need to do it in a way that doesn't make him double-tap the President immediately. Got any ideas? One. But it's gonna hurt. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. <laughs> Tom? I've got Fisher. I'm bringing him in. Don't do anything drastic until I get there. Sorry, Sam. You're going to the Oval Office. You've got to dress properly for the occasion. Hands? You comfortable? Ah, uh, fuck. Get up. Uh. You've got an appointment with the President.
All those years, you were lying to me. It was for the greater good, Sam. And I would do it again in a heartbeat, for the same reasons. I guess I never did know you. No, you didn't. And you still don't. I was wondering when you were going to get here. Nice work, Anna. I see you got some payback in for the stun he pulled at the airfield. Well, he put up a little bit of a fight. Of course he did. And now he's here, the famous Sam Fisher, just in time to be useful. So how does it feel, Sam, knowing you're going to go down in history as the man who assassinated President Caldwell? Fuck you, Reed. Of course, we'll be just a little too late to rescue her. And you'll be shot multiple times trying to escape. It's classic, but it's clean. You don't honestly believe that this is going to work. The surveillance camera's footage is going to show. Your cameras, we own them. Your security measures, we made sure the Pulse fried them. We're third echelon, Madam President. We own every bit of information that goes through this town. And if I want to, I can make it look like you were assassinated by two circus clowns and a golden retriever. So shut up, and you might live a few seconds longer. <laughs> That's not third echelon. It's not Lambert's third echelon. Last time I checked, he was dead. And guess what? Third Echelon nearly died with Tom. him. Tom. You see, the president decided the agency wasn't justifying its funding anymore. She was going to shut us down, leave America vulnerable to the sort of attacks you spent so many years stopping. Madam President, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Ray. Son of a... Uh, that was a close You've got call. maybe two minutes before the army takes back the White House. Make them useful. How did Megiddo get to you? You don't want to know about Megiddo. You want to know about your daughter. You don't get to talk about my daughter. You still don't get it, do you? Sarah didn't matter. Threatening her was just a way to get to you. And leveraging you was a way to get to Third Echelon. And Third Echelon, that was a way to get what they wanted out of the White House. You're the mole. You're the one Lambert was worried about. Very good, Sam. You finally see. You son of a bitch! You cost me three years of my life. Three years when I thought my daughter was dead. Move! Move! Drop your weapon! On the floor now! Captain, thank you for rescuing me. Now, I don't see anyone else here but us, and I'm sure you don't either. Oh, ma'am. Let's get you out of here. Thank you. Oval Office is secure. We have the President. POTUS is safe and secure. Testify my trial. I could use a good character witness. You already had your trial. You didn't have to do that. I disagree. There was a time where you wouldn't have said that. Things change, Sam. Yeah, things change. Remember what you told me, Anna. When this was over, everybody walks. I'm walking. You can't. There's too much left to do. Ask Lambert. I've done too much already. Sam, please. I don't know who else I can trust. Trust? Funny you should say that. Goodbye, Grim. I've talked to Sam once since he left. He told me that he and Sarah were going to take some time to catch up. He talked about learning who was really important to you. 
Why he always had to come back for him. He talked about family. And you know what the last thing he said to me was just before he hung up? Vicky said, thanks for everything. I love you like a brother. Brother. That's family, right? Yeah. I thought so.